Decapitation. Webster's Dictionary defines decapitate as to cut the head off of or behead. Today, we are discussing decapitation as a method of execution, which is under the category of intentional decapitation. Other forms of intentional decapitation include murder and suicide. In April of this year, a Kansas man by the name of James Paul Harris was arrested and accused of decapitating a man with a guitar string and then keeping his head in a canvas bag for three years as a companion, like a twisted version of Castaway. Bronx man decapitates himself in gruesome suicide. A 51-year-old man decapitated himself in the Bronx on Monday in an apparent case of suicide. The gruesome incident happened at around 9.30 in Hunts Point. Witnesses said the unidentified man tied a metal chain to a pole and went back to his car where he wrapped the other end around his neck before hitting the gas on his white 2005 Honda CRV. The man's head was severed and ended up on the street. His car continued speeding down the street until it crashed into a parked truck. The collision sent his headless body flying out of the vehicle. Police have not released the man's name. It's not clear why he killed himself. Besides intentional decapitation, there is also a category for accidental forms of beheading, which can occur due to, but not limited to, industrial and or construction accidents. And then there's the age-old culprit of high impact trauma to the head and neck region. Automobile and other motorized vehicle collisions or mishaps can cause this sort of injury. Internal decapitation is the last form I'll mention before getting to the good stuff, the reason we're all here, the executions. This form of decapitation is the only form in which one has the potential to survive. And it occurs when the skull separates from the spinal cord, while the head remains attached to the body through other tissues and vessels that remain intact. Last but not least, beheading as a method of execution. This method dates back to ancient Greek and Roman times. If you weren't crucified, your head was not so graciously removed from your body, and sometimes it was displayed on pikes to display authority and territory. Beheading was a notable execution style of the French during the French Revolution. The French created the device to execute a large amount of people quickly, with the hopes that they would be looked upon as just and humane executioners for using a method that is quick and seemingly painless. So how does beheading actually end life? The first major end-all effect is due to the immediate stopping of normal, life-sustaining blood flow to the brain and body. Cells in the brain begin to die immediately. The body dies from exsanguination because the heart is still beating until all of the body's blood is drained and the heart, too, stops. The head, being completely removed from the body, stops vital, life-maintaining signals and resources being sent back and forth from the brain to the body. It is said that it takes anywhere from approximately 7 to 30 seconds for the decapitated head to lose consciousness. In the days of the guillotine, it was reported that the severed heads would display signs of bleeding life, like eyes blinking and lips moving. Some noted faces of confusion and distress on the victims. As humane as beheading seems, that is, if we were to define humane as quick, cheap, and seemingly painless, then beheading seems like it should be on the top of the list of capital punishments used globally. But in fact, the statistics look more like this. Hanging is utilized in 60 countries. 
54 countries still utilize shooting as a form of execution. Seven countries offer stoning. And only six countries worldwide use lethal injection, making it less popular than stoning and barely more popular than beheading. Three countries still utilize beheading in modern executions, Saudi Arabia being top on the list, with two countries in Africa joining the fold. So this is it. They're just gonna shoot me down like some dumb animal. Oh, Jesus Christ, no, please don't do this, Father. Don't let him do this, please. Dearly beloved, <laughs> it has pleased Almighty God in his justice to bring you under sentence and condemnation of the Lord. Hold him down. <laughs> you can't, please, you can't kill me. Father, please. You are to suffer death in such a manner that others, warned by your example, may be the more afraid to offend you. What the fuck, Tobias? You didn't hit him hard enough. I'll hit my fucking gun now, why not? And we pray God that you may make such use of your punishment in this world as your soul may be saved. Blooded now. Lucy Wilson missing for over a month and presumed dead. I did not kill her! Always remember, death is eventual, not inevitable.